This session is, is really exceptional. It's excellent. And you know what I love about our entire platform? So for those of you who don't know, we've worked with lots of people like Lion. I'm talking hundreds of people and we've created these, what we call sessions. They're actually um, adhering to a specific formula that harnesses and leverages the very best understanding we have now about what really works, what's applicable from the fields of positive psychology and neuroscience. There are specific uh, ranges of images. For example, you'll see really beautiful smiles and those smiles are with what we call Duchenne smiles and your eyes process those smiles. You as a human being know if something's genuine and sincere and real, what happens then is the mirror neurons in your brain, which are actually processing that smile from the messages, the retina in your eyes is actually computing. Then the, there's actually communication from your brain down through your endocrine system and hormonally you start to produce more neurotransmitters and endorphins based upon the fact that you literally saw a range of these Duchenne smiles. Now, the crazy thing is, is that in this day and age, we're usually um, frozen or we're fighting or we're fleeing because it is impossible to avoid the fact that our world and we are mostly negatively primed by this insatiable assault from the media, whether that's social media or whether that's, you know, conservative media. The reality of today actually negatively primes us. And we need something physically um, attuned as an intervention to actually address this situation that we're in. And so what we've done with Positive Prime is we've created a, a really it's a tool or an experience, it's a process through which we are positively primed, so the opposite of negatively primed. And then we've gone and layered in so much more. So you know what? I might not be as experienced or indeed I might not have the real insights that Lion Goodman has, but I want to experience Lion sitting on my shoulder, guiding me, encouraging me, supporting me and uplifting me. And he thinks completely differently to me based upon who he is and his mastery. So I want to watch his session and I want to actually absorb what he's sharing with me and I want to embody that. What our technology actually does also is it allows you to add in your own images. You can actually upload images that are meaningful and significant to you. And what that specifically does is it helps you to internalize the messages. So a lot of us have been to seminars or workshops or we've read amazing self-help books or we've been in programs and we think, yes, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be that. I want that. I need that. That's who I'm becoming. And then, of course, we forget all of that within about a week or a month or a year because we're not constantly reminded. What I love about this is that when I don't have access to Lion Goodman, I still have him in my life. So if you become like the five people that you spend time with, or in our case, the 50 or 100 people you spend time with through this experience of a positive prime session, guess what? I am actually being infused with Lion Goodman's goodness, even though we're gazillions of miles away, 24 seven, I can access the essence and the energy of him by watching his positive prime session. Now, how I get that to actually change my identity and my ego and allow me to actually emerge completely transmuted or transformed is I internalize the messages by personalizing them. And so we're going to go into a little bit of that today, but I want you to imagine if you're a fitness coach or you're a health coach or you're a relationships coach or you're an expert or an authority in your area I just say you have an audience who wants to take you home with them in a kind of very um, politically correct way <laughs> so that was supposed to be funny but no seriously right I, I I want you to know that 
so many of us do amazingly impactful work in the world and yet when we are not with our clients our clients can be influenced kind of in a very disempowering way by that which has kept them stuck up until now the whole reason why they may have come to you in the first place as a professional so if they're in an environment that is not really all that enriching for them and yet what they can do is dive into watching a positive prime session inside our platform every single day or a variety of them guess what they're spending time really valuable time in this precious process that is positively priming them and they're quite frankly more likely to have a behavior change that is enduring and have a habitual change that is quite frankly swift and in their best interests wouldn't you agree, Lion? Um, I would agree. And I want to highlight something you said earlier, which was the negative priming we get from our environment. For example, if you've watched the movie, The Social Dilemma, it talks about how Facebook and YouTube and all of these search engines are, are programmed. They're algorithms that try to challenge you, to get you outraged, to bring the negative news to you. And the news organizations have been doing that for decades. The, the old saying in the news business was, if it bleeds, it leads, meaning put the goriest thing on the front page so that it attracts attention. Well, today we're in an attention marketplace. Our eyeballs, that's what they're called in the marketplace, our eyeballs are being sold to advertisers. So if Facebook can keep you engaged, they can keep your eyeballs glued to their screen, they, have, they can make more money selling your attention to the companies that want to sell you stuff. So we are, we're in an environment in which we are all being negatively programmed on purpose because that makes their sites sticky. And if, they're, if we stick with them, they can make more money. So really, if you think about the most precious thing you have is your attention. Where are you placing your attention? Is your attention on what is great in the world or is it on what is terrible in the world? And it's, it's been known for decades that on television programs, there's more cops per capita than, than there are in the real world. There's more murders per capita than there are in the real world. There's more violence per capita than there is in the real world. So the, the television as a whole and now the internet is filled with the negativity that, that keeps us glued to our screens. And this is why it's so important to have a positive influence to balance that out and hopefully to take it over. Absolutely. And what better way than to actually do something that's evidence-based, that's very anchored in what we understand from a neuroscience point of view about the way our brain really works. And from an accelerated learning point of view and from a positive psychology point of view. And so what we really have with Positive Prime is a tool that is many things in one. It's a visioning process, and I'm gonna to explain to you how and why. It's also an incredible appreciation and gratitude process, and I'm gonna to explain to you how and why. It's also an outstanding way to stay truly focused on your goals. And I'm going to explain to you how and why. But it's interestingly enough, it's a way to have what's important to you reinforced so that you actually recall, remember, and you enact, right? So it's about enabling you. What I do want to tell you is that there's lots of magic with Positive Prime. Um, as a company, people kind of see us as a training institution, a little bit like Lions, where we're slightly different. We, we specialize in doing a certification that allows you to become a professional leader in the specific science of positive priming. And you can go and Google positive priming. It's an entire science in and of and by itself. Um, and like 20 years ago, when people started talking about emotional intelligence, it was the big thing. And it still kind of is. And it's actually accelerating in terms of its acceptance in the marketplace. And Positive Prime is actually getting there and heading in the same trajectory. Now, most executives or managers in most corporations are required to go through emotional intelligence training. And their performance is actually measured by how emotionally intelligent they are. I can almost guarantee to you that 
there will be a situation in the not too distant future where people will be required to be positively primed and to have gone through the training and understand that the broaden and build theory which was created by Dr. Barbara Fredrickson at the University of North Carolina is actually integrated into our particular formula and what it's specifically enabling is an increase in resourcefulness and creativity in you. So you will be required to be positively primed when you're showing up wherever it is important that you're actually playing a role. We're getting there and it's not going to be all that difficult before we are actually integrated with some very fancy wearable tech where we will be able to determine whether your breath rate, your heart rate, your heart rhythm coherence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is actually in congruence or in alignment with you being positively primed. So quite frankly, the tech that's being developed will be able to prove and provide evidence as to whether you are or you aren't. And I promise you, my um, intuition tells me and it, my um, more than intuition, my insightful visionary ways can almost predict that this is coming down the pipeline, particularly in corporate.